I'm chopping wood. <laughs> I'm chopping wood. I'm chopping wood, etc. You know. <laughs> Watch, listen, understand, learn. Watch and listen to understand and learn English. Comprehensible English. Hi, everyone. My name is Christian. Hello, everyone. My name is Adrian. And how are you doing today, Adrian? Thank you, Christian. I'm very well. How are you? I'm good, but I'm a little bit uh, tired. So I have some coffee here to drink. But in this video today, in this video, we are not going to talk about coffee. Is that right, Adrian? Oh, <laughs> do, you, do you have coffee too? I have tea, but I'll oh, drink tea. it. I'll drink it. We don't have to discuss tea or coffee. We love it. We know. Right, right. So in this video, um, I have coffee and Adrian, you have you tea. have your tea. But uh -huh. are we going to talk about coffee or tea? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> I have some surprising things to show you, Christian. Right. So in this video, Adrian, you will show me three things. Is that right? Three things? That's right. I will show you three things and you'll have to guess what they are. Yeah. So I will look at the three things. So one thing, then another thing, then another thing. So one thing, two things, three things. And so I will look at each of those things and I will think and try to guess hmm what what is this thing what is this thing so I will I will think and then guess and see if I am right or wrong I'm sure you'll get it but I won't make it easy I'll make it hard a bit tricky okay Okay, so this this might be hard for me to uh, to think and then guess what these three things are. Is that right? That's right. So if I may begin with my first object, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Here we go. Let me show you. Hmm. Have you any ideas? I'm not sure. Um, so I see it's part of it. Part of it is black, like like my shirt is black. That's the other right. part, yeah. So that part is black, and the other part, the other part on that end, yeah, on that end, that is yellow. Uh, that is yellow. Like for example, <laughs> this coffee, uh, this coffee container has a yellow label and a yellow lid. So that is yellow too. So it's yellow and then black. But what is it? What's, what is it? What is it? I don't I'm, know. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you right away, but mm -hmm. let me describe the object a bit more. So okay. You're right, Christian. The object is black mm -hmm. and yellow in color. It has a foam item. This is foam. So lots of bubbles have formed foam. Mm -hmm. Whereas this part is rubber. So it's very bouncy. Okay. And then the rest is made of metal. So there's some yellow painted metal, black painted metal, and even if I can find some, a little bit of shiny silver metal. Okay. But this might help you if I transform the object. Okay. Ah, I see. Now, now you've made it. Uh, you, you've set it up somehow, but that's right. I'm guessing what, what is it? At first, at first, um, before before you did that, before you you pulled that part out and pulled that part out, mm -hmm. um, before 
um, I thought, and I was going to ask you, is it something, is it something that you would stand on? Would you stand on it? I wouldn't stand on it. It's quite strong. I don't think that I'd <laughs> break it, mm -hmm. but it's not designed for me to stand on. So is, think, is, it, is it for anyone, for anyone to stand on? No, it's not for anyone to stand on. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you a little bit more about it, please? Mm, so sure, I, but I'm thinking maybe it's, it's for not, not a person like mm -hmm. me or you to stand on. So not for, not for a person to stand on with their, with their legs. So not not for a person to stand on. I think maybe it's for some object, something, something to stand on. Is that right? You're absolutely right, Christian. Okay. Well played. <laughs> so um, if I can describe a little more, there are three feet to stand on. So that's one, two, three feet. So it's very stable. The feet are made of rubber, so this bouncy rubber, so it doesn't move around. It won't move around, it will stand still. And the metal legs give it strength, so it is very strong. And in fact, it's called, if I bring this towards the camera, I'm sorry, I don't know if this is backwards for you. Oh. I, I can see it. I see it. And I can read it. It says Hercules. Hercules. That's right. So uh, I, I know. Very I know strong. Hercules. Yeah, yeah. Hercules is, is a man from a long time ago. And um, he's very, very strong, right? Hercules is someone who's very, very, very strong. Is that Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I think Hercules was Greek and very yeah. strong. Yeah. So Although mm. this is also, I can read the little label. It does say made in China. Ah, so but not, it it's, it's called Hercules, but it's not made in Greece. Uh, Hercules was Greek, right? But it's made in China, not made in Greece. That's right. <laughs> but mm. it works really well. Mm. So I think, I think I have another guess. I think... Mm, is it is it a stand it's it's for something to stand on so not not a person like me or you to stand on with our with our legs it's not like that it's for something to stand on so some object some something to stand on i think or i i was going to maybe maybe now i think something something different before I was thinking, I was thinking maybe it's for a guitar, a, a guitar stand. Is it, that, is, it, is it a guitar stand for a guitar that, to stand on? Yes, this is a guitar stand. So this is for a guitar to stand on. I was wondering what else you might have said. <laughs> well, I, if, if it's not a guitar stand, then I don't know. But when when I saw you, I think I think when I saw you pull out the three legs, so it has one, two, three, three legs, right? Or three, right. three feet or three legs, then I thought maybe, maybe it is not for a guitar to stand on. Maybe, maybe it is for something, something else, something different, but not a guitar. But is it is it actually a guitar stand? Is it, it for is. a guitar to stand it, on? It's for a guitar, and it's really for an electric guitar mm. because uh, these little arms. Ah, there, there they are. There they are. So the guitar sits on here, and it's a quite a thin guitar because this isn't very wide. This is a small space, mm. so a thin guitar can sit in here upright. And it's difficult to push over. You can't kick it over. You can't push it over unless you're really trying. Uh, right. So an acoustic guitar is, is thicker. 
but an electric guitar is thinner like that. So yeah, an acoustic guitar would be thicker and it would not fit in there, right? That's right. So an acoustic guitar would be thicker and would come out a bit like this and you couldn't sit, you couldn't sit the guitar in comfortably. It would have to balance on these two points and then it's not stable. So this is very stable for an electric guitar or a very, very, very thin guitar. Right, right. So yeah, thin guitar and usually electric guitars are thin like that. So yeah, now, now I understand. So I was thinking, you know, a guitar, I was thinking a guitar, but I did not think of an electric guitar. I thought of an acoustic guitar, not an electric guitar. So yeah, that's, so that's for an electric guitar then. Well played, good guess. You were right. Well done. Good. And so do you have an electric guitar? I do. I've got one with me um, that I can show you later on. Or would you like okay. a, a quick look now? Yeah, let me let me see it quickly. OK, this is proof that I've got one. OK, nice. Here's here's the electric guitar. Yeah, and, it looks, um, it looks very it, nice. It's, yeah, it sits in here like this and when this is on the ground this is very so i've let go with this hand very strong yeah and so those legs those three legs or feet there um they're kind of like this but they're flatter out those yeah. keep it very stable so that it will yeah. not fall down right that's right right so they stay very stable the guitar the electric guitar can stand up and these legs keep it from falling down with the legs like that that's it it. Will, it will not just fall down like that the legs spread out quite far they spread very well yeah, yeah i can see that the legs they're not like this <laughs> if if the legs were like this then it could just fall down easily it might you know the wind blows <laughs> and it falls down <laughs> very easily but if when the legs are spread out like that then it's very stable, it stays standing, so it will not fall down easily. That's right, and the weight of the guitar goes right down the middle of the, of the stand. So you can see there's a lot of weight going right down the middle where I'm holding it. I'm mm -hmm. holding this with my hand, and that's taking the weight directly. It's not far away, it's very close to the center of the weight distribution, so it's very secure. Right, so you have the legs here, and then the weight is in the middle. If the weight were over here or over here, it could topple, it could fall down this way or that way, but the weight, the weight all goes down here, so it stays very stable. It stays, it can stay standing up like that. Mm, mm. Uh, nice, so that's, that's a very nice electric guitar and a nice stand. And do you, do you play the electric guitar? Do you, is, do you play that guitar? Um, yes, not as often, not as often as I used to when I was younger, but I still play a little bit every now and then, you know, just a little bit. Do you like to play your electric guitar? I do. I think, um, guitars are mysterious and I always thought they were beautiful to look at. Um, I yeah. was so beautiful and wondrous. And if someone's really good at playing guitar, I'm amazed. I love to watch and listen, uh, maybe sing along. Or even if I don't have a guitar, I'll still be going. <laughs> oh, that's that's called air guitar. It's just air. <sighs> <laughs> no guitar but it's air guitar exactly i'll be doing this or maybe with uh, a tennis racket or something i'll still be yeah, doing there's that. air tennis air guitar there's no guitar there or air tennis there's no tennis racket there it's just it's just air but you could you could listen to music and if you hear a guitar if you hear an electric guitar especially you could play air guitar to it 
<laughs> yeah, the, you, you play air guitar much better than I play air guitar. Well, it's lots of fun. <laughs> Playing is fun. Listening is fun. We love it. Yeah, and that's that's a very beautiful electric guitar. Um, yeah, I would like to hear you play it maybe later. Maybe later, but I think I would need to practice a bit first. This is a nice guitar. I bought this in America a long time ago, years and years ago. And um, yeah, so it's, it's American and that's why it's so good. Americans make really good guitars and it's shiny. So I like to shine it. I have, I have a polishing cloth and I'm <laughs> quite a lot. Yeah, I, I can see that it's very shiny. It looks like you've polished it a lot with, with a cloth or something like that. Yes, although the, the strings, the strings are a little bit old, so they sound a little bit meh, a little bit oh. dull. It needs new strings. Have I got any strings? Not yeah. nearby. But how really many? Yeah, how many strings does it have there? It has they have six strings, right? One, yes. two, three, four, five, six strings. Is that right? Yeah. That's right. So yeah. as you said, it's one, two, three, four, five, six strings. And here, the top strings are very thin. So they're yeah. very thin. Yeah. And then, and then yeah. the... Oh, oh, sorry, I keep on interrupting you. I beg no. your pardon. But... <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so yeah, the one string, there's one string on the bottom there. That's very, very thin but then they get thicker and thicker. They get thicker and thicker. Is that right? That's right. So this is the thickest string and it plays the lowest note. Whereas the top string is very thin, plays the highest note. If I can do it. Oh, do, do you mean that the thick strings, the thicker strings play low notes, like mm, a low note like that, but the That's thinner correct. strings, and do the thinner strings play higher notes like dun? They do. So a thin string at the top, quite high. We call this a high note. And mm -hmm. then a low note from the bottom string, the, the big thick string. So yeah, so that's how it works. There's lots of very clever physics behind how the notes work and you have the different different frets for different uh, notes. So tone, semitone, very clever stuff. I just, call, just play chords. Yeah, you, you call the thick string there, the, the bottom string, even though I, I, I see it up here, but. Uh, exactly. This okay. is a very common, a very normal conversation because the bottom string is at the top of the guitar. So it's at the top of the guitar, but it plays the lowest note. So this is a low note, but the string is at the top. So mm. you've got a high, high note where the thin string is at the bottom of the guitar. Confusing, huh? Right, but yeah, I, I understand now. Yeah, so the, the bottom, bottom string, that means the note, the sound is low, even though the string is is up here on the guitar, the, the bottom string. Uh, it plays a low note, a boom, boom, a low, a low sound like that, a low frequency sound. But the, the top string, um, even though even even though it's it's on the bottom, you call it, you, we say that it's the, the top string because it's very thin and it makes a high note like ding. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you should be a singer. I think. Uh, maybe one day. <laughs> yes, please. I have to, I think, I think I have to practice singing though. <laughs> <laughs> it, that's fun. Singing is fun. The good thing about a guitar is you can play guitar and sing at the same time. That's that's right. So you can play and you can also sing la 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 at the same time. Which is a lot of fun. And that's also why 
many guitarists also sing and write songs and make a lot of songs because they are singer songwriters they are singer songwriters with their guitars and do you sing la 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 do do you sing at all a little bit um normally if i'm in the garden if i'm outside in the garden you know chopping trees i'll be singing i might chop something and then have a bit of a sing i'm chopping wood (laughs) <laughs> I'm chopping wood. I'm chopping wood, etc. You know, <laughs> or in the car when I'm driving. When do you sing, Christian? Mm. At, I think at different times. At different times, I sing. But these days, not that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's fun when it happens, and sometimes I'll be singing. And not even realize that I am singing. I'll be like, oh, I'm singing. Does does anybody, does anyone around you hear you singing? (laughs) Sometimes, maybe my next door neighbors. Oh, I I hope your neighbors next door, I I hope they like your singing. (laughs) I hope so too. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but they've they've not said anything so far so i have another object do you, you have yeah, exactly the i have object, the third another object, object. Right? so that now, was one object one thing. that was one object What's which the next was, thing so this was the first object this is my guitar stand now that christian you've seen my guitar maybe you'll be able to guess what the next object is. So this is the second object, the second object or object number two. Here we go. Here we go. Have you seen one of these before? I'm not sure. I uh, Just before, I, you showed it to me very, very quickly. You just showed it and then for, mm-hmm. for one second, very quickly. And before when i saw it for one second when i saw it very quickly i thought is it either first one 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 thought i had one thing i thought was it's something like oh it looks kind of like a nail clipper like this this is a uh-huh. nail clipper to clip <laughs> clip uh clip one's nails one's fingernails mm-hmm. or one's uh toenails so i thought it kind of because you can squeeze you squeeze part of it is that right do you, that's do you right that so, so you can that but it yeah. looks it looks bigger it looks it looks too big to be a nail clipper at least a nail clipper for a person maybe a nail clipper for for an elephant or something a nail clipper <laughs> for a horse or not uh, some kind of big animal not not for a human not for a person like me or you right no um no there are no sharp edges so there are no sharp yeah. edges this this part is sharp oh or it could be this could cut you this could be sharp but uh that that is not that is not uh sharp no. like this and another thing i thought you mm-hmm. squeeze it there's some exercise things if you want if you want to make <sighs> your hands strong <laughs> you can there's yeah exercise things to exercise your hands exercise your grip you squeeze it and I thought maybe it's something like that, like a grip for your hand. But it's, is it to exercise? Is it, is it uh, exercise to make your hands strong by no, gripping it? it? No, it's, it's, it's not. No, although, again, there's a little spring here. This little, the little windy bit of metal is a spring. So it helps mm-hmm. me move like this, but it's not for exercise. Yeah, of course. Now, now I I know I know that it's something for your guitar, for your electric guitar. So now, now I'm thinking that maybe it is, you know, we talked about we talked about the strings. There's six strings. One, mm-hmm. two, three, four, five, six strings on the guitar. And you press the strings, you press 
when you play the guitar, you're strumming the guitar mm -hmm. and then your other fingers are pressing the strings. You press down on different strings. You can play uh, different chords. So that might also press on the strings. It might press, it might press down on strings and hold down those strings. Is it something for that? Does it press the strings on your guitar? Yes, it does, Christian. Again, well done. So this part is rubber. So this is soft and again, a little bouncy. So it's soft and bouncy rubber. And you can clip this onto your guitar, onto my guitar, um, and it presses on the strings. May I show you? Of course. Okay, so again, here's my guitar. And I take this in my hand. I'm using the gripper, mm -hmm. very springy because of the little spring inside. And it's been a while. I can put, I can put it here and it changes the music. So uh, now, now it sounds higher. Before yeah, so, it was like, before if you strummed it, it would go something like dung. Now it's going dung, a higher note, a higher exactly. uh, frequency of sound. Exactly. So you can yeah. move the, the, I suppose, the, you can move this bit wherever you want on the guitar. So this is called the nut. And this means you can, by putting this on, you can have a nut wherever you want. So across the frets, these are called frets. I've put this on the one, two, three, four, five, fret number five, that's the fifth fret, the fifth fret, and this gives me five half tones higher music up here. This means when five I have like da 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 something that's like it. that. <laughs> so all, all the little steps, because these are all little mm. steps. In fact, in America, I think they are called steps and half steps so these are half steps and um so i can get one two three four five half steps if i were to play a chord like this i can't just move it up here it doesn't work because there are open strings i don't press all the strings and then it changes the chord but with the magic of this I can then go, and I'm okay. I can use the same shape and only use three fingers. So one, two, three, and I've got a chord that works. So that's still music, just. <laughs> so you have, that's, um, I, I would call that a clip. Is it, what, what would you call that? This is called a, um, a capo or a capo. I don't know, it's an unusual word. Maybe someone uh, else might know, is it a capo or is it a capo? I don't know. Yeah, but it, it does something. It kind of clips those uh, strings. It presses down on the strings on a That's fret. It. And it looks like uh, you have your guitar here. The more you move it down, each fret that you move it down, it goes up. The notes go a, a little bit higher. So it goes da, da or da 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 something like that each That's time it. each time you move it down there a bit it the notes get higher the notes get yeah how will it sound now oh i i can't really hear it <laughs> it's it's very high it's like ding, ding, something like that right that's it so yeah. um I, so this is for certain songs where i need um certain finger positions on the guitar so for chords like this where i don't use all the strings and i want to move it or sometimes if there is a singer and they can't sing very low they say mm. please can we do the song higher so so, they'll, so you can I'll play the same thing but make it higher a little bit higher yeah. right yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. So maybe for a female singer with a soprano voice, that's a high voice um, or someone who um, doesn't get down low. I don't have a very low voice. So sometimes you just need a little bit, one or two places, one or two steps 
will just help. Uh, so it's something you can use if you want to play the guitar and also sing la 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 while you're playing the guitar. Yeah, it, it really can help. And some people use this capo or capo all the time because they like the sound. It changes the sound of the guitar because a different amount of the guitar is vibrating. So all the sound is vibrations and it changes the feeling of the sound. Yeah, it makes it, makes it higher in frequency. It can make it mm. higher and higher as much as you want. That's right. Um, I only use it occasionally, so very occasionally, very rarely. Okay, so you don't you don't use that all the time. You use it sometimes when oh. you play the guitar. That's right, and usually only around maybe here. This is quite popular because it's just a little difference which helps. It, that can help. Yeah, that I can see that's just a little bit higher. Uh, it will make the, the sound a little bit higher. Yes. Instead of like, duh, more like, duh, something like that. Yeah, so <laughs> this still works. It's a bit, a little bit higher, and that little bit can help if you're struggling to get all the way to a low note. Okay, so I have seen two things. You have shown me two things. And you have one more thing to show me. What is, what is the one more thing? What is the one other thing? Well, you're going to have to guess. Of course. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, this hmm. is thing number three. So my third item to do with the guitar. Here we go. Let me bring it closer to the camera so that you can see better. Yeah, so I see there um, you're holding one end and you can kind of swing it around there and the top part, that part spins around when you do that. That's right. Yeah, so it turns around. Yeah, so first, um, before you, you showed that to me very quickly, like for one second, you showed it to me. And when I saw it very quickly, when I saw it for one second, I thought, oh, I saw, I saw that part spinning around. I thought that looks like this thing, this thing here that spins around. So it has this kind of handle and it okay. spins around. But this thing, this thing is not for a guitar. So it is not, that is not this thing. Uh, this thing, do you, do you know, do, do you, do you know what this is? No, I have no idea. <laughs> You're meant to this... be guessing, but I want to know, is it for, um, is it for a food preparation and you somehow. Oh, like wind, a grinder like this thing? to grind, to grind coffee or something like that. Yeah, and you grind to, it to and grind it to grind coffee. No, no, it's not. It's not something like that for like a, a coffee grinder or maybe a meat grinder or something. It's not. It's not for that. It's actually. Do, do you want to know? I I need to know, Christine. <laughs> I need to know. So this is for a window in this house here. Um, some of the windows. Some of the windows that we can. Um, some of the windows to look outside to see outside um, some of the windows open and close using these so we can turn this uh -huh. to open and close the window so when you turn this one way uh, the window opens and if you turn it the other way the window closes so this is for opening and closing some of the windows in our house. Um, so to open the window, if you want to open the window and get some air, to get some fresh air, you can use this. You can turn it and open the window or turn it, turn it the other way like this and close the window. Mm -hmm. So this is for opening and closing windows in this house. Now, that's very important then. It's very 
important. Mm -hmm. Do you? Yeah, have, it's, it's important. Yeah. I, I, I hope that you don't have just the one. I hope you have maybe two. So one and another as a spare. So a second one. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know if there are spares, but I know there are a few of these. There's, I think there's one for each window that opens like this. So each window has this and it attaches. So this one I detached, I took it off and, but you can put it back on. So I, I can put it back on and then use it to open or close the window. So even, even if there were only one of them, we could use it for each window, but there's more, there's more than just one. There's one, I think for each window in, in this house to open and close the windows with. Okay. That, that's okay. <laughs> then. <laughs> but I only have one of mm -hmm. these and I only need one. Right, because that's for your one electric guitar, right? That's right. Yeah. So do, do you do, do you have do you have um, more than one electric guitar? I or have more than one guitar. Yes, I have two. Oh, this is easier. I have two <laughs> electric guitars. So guitars you plug in to an amplifier, and they make a lot of noise. So I have two electric guitars yeah, and do you have so you have that one that one electric guitar you showed me you have another electric guitar so you have two electric guitars and yes. do you have any acoustic guitars yes i have one acoustic guitar it's it's fun it's actually a similar color it looks like a similar color to this one, but that's pure coincidence. It's lucky, it's lucky, it just looks a little bit like this color. Uh, so the color, the color there is the same, the acoustic and the electric guitar. They just happen to have the same color by that's coincidence. It. That's they, it. They're, they're both kind of uh, a wood color, like kind of orange or red oh, or brown. It, yeah, kind of um, light orange. So a light mm. orange, and then it goes darker in this direction, darker when you go outwards towards the edge of the guitar. And But they're completely different guitars. And, right. and, and at the time, I didn't think, oh, I want two guitars that look mm. the same. I didn't think that. I just thought, I like this guitar. And then years before, a long time ago, with my fat acoustic guitar, remember it's right. thicker, thicker. bigger. Yeah. The acoustic one is thicker than that That's electric cool. guitar. The electric is guitar is thinner. Very thin. Yeah. Um, so they look, they look the same, the same, about the same color. Uh, they look, they look very similar. But <laughs> of course, the acoustic guitar is thicker than that guitar, than that electric guitar which is thinner, right? That, that's right. And it's just lucky, lucky mm. that they're similar. I do like the color orange, though. I really do like the color orange. Let me show you the color orange. I have it nearby. Again, so this is the color orange. I love orange. <laughs> Good. Yeah, that's a little bit, uh, yeah, the guitar looks kind of orange, maybe a little bit uh, darker, more brown there. So there's off. some bright, yeah. there's some orange there, then it goes from orange to kind of red and brown and a little black there. Um, yeah, that, I mean, this bit, the neck yeah, that part. of the guitar is dark. It's a very dark brown, but maybe on the camera, it might look kind of black, kind of dark. Um, yeah, I think the edges, like the shape of the guitar around, it looks kind of black around there or dark, dark brown around the guitar. Okay, I, maybe it, it's the lights, but um, mm. yeah, it's, I think it's the, the effect of the, uh, just the, the way the color changes. Yeah, the color changes. So it's yeah. orange, then red, then brown and darker brown out to the yeah. edges there. Yeah. 
that's right but i i didn't choose this guitar because of the color um i just liked it it just felt nice um it feels nice when i when i touch it yeah that's good so it feels good it feels, it feels good fine. to play and but it also it also does look very good it looks very beautiful great yeah i mean that that's nice that's a bonus so that's something extra an extra thing yeah it looks pretty i'm happy yeah yeah um, so but you still haven't answered wait what so, do you think this is yes yes back back to that um but so you have you have about your guitars you have three guitars in all and then oh, yeah. two of them two of your guitars are electric guitars electric. and the other one is the acoustic guitar that yeah that one That's is right. electric you plug you can plug in that guitar it's an electric guitar so you That's have right. two electric guitars and mm -hmm. one acoustic guitar so all together mm -hmm. you have three guitars that's correct but uh, for the three guitars mm -hmm. i only need one of these and that's mm -hmm. and this is good <laughs> for all three okay yeah so what is that hmm what is that for all three for all three of your guitars you need just that one thing so what mm -hmm. is that one thing what is that one thing hmm thinking what is it what is it uh something does it attach does it go on the guitar do um, you attach it like put it on the guitar nearly occasionally sometimes every mm -hmm. now and then i touch the guitar with it so i touch the guitar with this i touch the guitar with this does mm -hmm. that help and maybe if I do this. Huh, so it, it touches the guitar. It touches it the guitar. I, I touch the guitar with it. Hmm. So <laughs> why I'm wondering why would you touch the guitar with it? But mm -hmm. just touch the guitar with it? You just touch the guitar with it? <laughs> um so is it something to do with the it's an electric guitar? You plug you plug it in, so it's That's electric. It. But it's, it's, but that's not just for the electric guitars. You use it for your two electric guitars and also for your acoustic guitar. So that thing, that thing that looks like this, that thing is for all three guitars. Is that right? That's right. Okay, so that's for all three guitars. So what is it? Um, do you, when you touch it do you just touch it softly or do you hit it or <laughs> <laughs> well it doesn't it doesn't make a sound bum 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 it doesn't make... I, I i don't use it when i'm playing oh okay. i don't use it when i'm playing <laughs> i use this for maintenance so uh, i use this for maintenance to look after my guitar or to do something with the guitar but not for playing for not maintenance right hmm. <laughs> before i was thinking some people they they play guitar and also while they're playing the guitar they'll also like make if there are no drums like this instead of instead of drums they they play a beat like do, 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 mm, do, mm, they'll tap of... they'll tap like yeah they'll tap on the guitar they'll tap to make a beat so but that that thing now now i know that thing is not for making a beat it's not for going tf, 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 no. something like that it's not it's not for making a beat so it's something to maintain the guitar it's something to keep the guitar good to keep the guitar in good shape so That's right. is it something before we talked about the the strings the six mm -hmm. strings on the guitar good does good. that thing have something to do with those six strings yes it does this mm -hmm. is to do with string maintenance so it helps ah. me with my strings okay all my strings i use this do you know okay. what it is now mm, i'm thinking that maybe if if a string is say the string breaks like boing, mm. the string breaks just and like then that. you need to put on a new string so you you have six strings then one breaks there's mm -hmm. just five strings so six strings one string breaks boing you have five strings on the guitar 
you need another string, you need another string. So I think you use that to put on a new string. You put on another string. So you take off the old string, put another string on the guitar. Is that what it is for? Yeah, that's, that's right. So if I break a string, I maybe I try too hard and go, and it goes, doink, <laughs> and I go, where's my string? And I can't see it anymore. There's no string. It's gone. Oh, um, does the string just fly away somewhere? <laughs> it, it will be tied to this end, but mm. then once it's broken in, in the middle, it'll uh. hang down. It'll hang oh, right. down there, and there'll be another bit here, and that'll be stuck in the guitar. So I'll have uh. to turn the guitar over. So I'll, mm. this is the front of the guitar. So I turn the guitar over mm. to look at the back of the guitar. And then I'll pull the broken part out of here. So I don't know if you can oh, see. Oh, I see. You pull it out of pull it out of here. That, the strings, the strings. You can pull the string. You can pull if the string is broken. You can pull the string out of there. Is that right? Pull it out That's of there. That's right. But of course, you'll only pull half the string or right. a little bit of string. So you pull that out and you put it to the side, mm -hmm. and then you. Then you've got another long piece of string probably attached to here. Now, uh, those parts, those knobs there, those are attached to the string, right? That's it. These are called mm. tuning pegs. So I tune mm. the guitar, I bring the guitar together musically, mm. I bring the guitar in tune by adjusting these. So these are tuning pegs. And so this is a peg winder now to wind means to uh, collect cable or string to wind it up so this goes here and i go i'll play a note and i do this and if i don't do this this takes a long time and I'm losing time here. If I'm in, oh, I see. You know, so that, that makes it easier. Uh, but go on. It makes it easy. Look, look yeah. how easy this is. You just go na 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 na, and and then <laughs> I'm done in maybe thirty seconds, twenty seconds, and not five minutes of going. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> it, if I'm if I'm playing at a concert, you know, with drums and a singer and other people, they don't want to have to wait for me, you know, just to put a new string on. So, uh, so that loads of time. So that, that is very fast. You can just wind the string, wind the string yep. up kind of like, yep. Real uh, fast. I'll use, if, if pretend this is the string, then you wind this up like that. Whoops, wind, <laughs> wind it up like this on, on there or even <laughs> imagine this is it. So it would wind up on there. You turn this around, you turn that thing around and it would wind, wind up on there like, like this. I can't really do it with this or maybe I can, but something like that. that. That's <laughs> it. You're a natural. <laughs> <laughs> but, but of course, because the guitar, oh, the guitar has one, two, three, four, five, six strings. Yeah. Of course, if I'm changing all the strings, that's a lot of winding. Mm -hmm. You know, this saves a lot of time. This will save five, 10 minutes easily. Yeah, so it's, it makes, so cool. that makes me think like, imagine this is for the window to open, to open and close the, the windows in this, in this house, uh, most of the windows here. Or many of the windows, um, but I'm thinking. Imagine if I only had something like those uh, things on the guitar, those uh, those six things on the guitar, and I had to turn like this to open or close the window. It would be very slow. I'd be, and it would be hard on my my fingers. It would I'd be turning like this, and the window would open just very slowly or just close very slowly if I turn it the other way. If I only had, it's like turning at this, at turning at this end. That would be that would be hard. But if I can turn, when I use this, I just turn it like this. Mm -hmm. That's very easy to open or turn it the other way very quickly to close the window. That's um, it. So that's, but of course, 
you don't want six, you don't need six of those things on while you're playing the guitar. You don't want those on the guitar. <laughs> that that's right. And I I've I've been playing the guitar for um maybe 20 years, uh, more than that, no, 25 years. So 25 years I've been playing guitar, but only after five or 10 years did I buy one of these. Now, I wish I'd have bought this. I wish I'd have bought this on day one. <laughs> that would have <laughs> saved me lots and lots of time, would have saved me lots of time. Do you go through many strings? Like, do you do you have to do that many times? You have to, does a string break? And then you have to use that and change the string. And then another string breaks and then another string breaks. Do, do many, do you have many strings breaking like that? And then you um, have to use that thing to uh, take off, take off the, the broken string and put another string on the guitar? I, I'm lucky. I don't break many strings, um, but for example, if someone says to me, you know, Adrian, perform, play a concert, I want you uh. <laughs> to play guitar, then I'll go, I want new strings, and then I'll, I'll clip these all off and throw them away, I'll pull them all out of the back of the guitar, and then I'll unwind them all then unwind them all get rid of them and i'll put new strings put new ones on my guitar because they sound better so because they sound much better so um if i have a concert or mm. a recording session when we're recording new strings out with this fella right so the new strings if you put six new strings it will sound better it will sound uh, better than the the old strings yes and also i think if you're playing a concert if there's many many people in the audience and you're playing and then a string breaks you don't want to have to change the string and then people are waiting like waiting That's while it. you're you're changing that string so if you have six new strings and probably the when you're playing and there's all those people uh watching you won't have a problem or probably the you won't have uh strings breaking like that no so it's good to have spare strings so i mm -hmm. always carry a little pack a little packet of strings just in case one string breaks it, it's possible um, but I always have new strings. I always have spare packets of strings. So a spare packet, I always carry two spare packets in my guitar case. Of course, you always want to, to have with you, you always want to have some more strings, some spare strings, just in case, just in case one breaks. Oh, you can take a string, put another string on. But if you have a concert, if you're playing for many, many people and you have six new strings, because before you already put on one, two, three, four, five, six new strings, then when you play, when you play for those people, then the strings, they'll probably be okay. They'll probably not That's break it. while you're playing for all those people, while you're playing the concert. That that's what I think. I'm more mm -hmm. confident that. It will be okay with new strings. Yeah, you're prepared. You're ready to get ready for a concert. Uh, to prepare to get ready, you put on six new strings for mm -hmm. your guitar. So when you play, uh, you're prepared. You're ready. That's right. That's absolutely right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As it happens, uh, these string these strings are quite old, so they sound a little bit meh. So they're not zing. They're not bright. They're a little mm -hmm. bit dull, so they're a bit duh. Yeah, so so will you use that thing and then put on some new strings? I think so, because I might actually play this guitar soon. In about one month's time, I might play this with other people, so in a band, 
and then I'll put on new strings. Do you play in a band? Like you play, you play guitar, someone else in the band plays drums, someone else plays maybe keyboards or a piano? Uh, right now, I don't play guitar in a band with other musicians. I used to when I was younger, um, and I will play with an old friend of mine next month, and he plays drums, and he's been playing drums for many, many years since the 1960s. So he's very experienced, um, and I, I'm really looking forward to that, really looking forward to playing guitar with him on the drums. Wow, so he's been playing for 1960s. That would be more than 50 years ago now. Um, and you've been playing since, you've been playing guitar mm -hmm. since the 1990s, I guess. Since Correct. Around 1995 or 1996 or 1997, around, around that time, oh, is that right? Perfect, yes. So around 1995, 1996, um, and there were many, guitar bands that were very popular in England in 1996. Wow, so you've been playing, uh, yeah, so, so now since you've been, now, now you've been playing for 25 years. That's right. I About should, 25 years. Uh, yeah, I should be amazing, but I'm not. No. <laughs> I'm not, ve I'm not very fast that would be very fast i'm not fast i'm quite slow uh, but i i still i still love playing the guitar yeah it sounds like i i think i think that you are good at playing guitar i think if you've Thank been you. playing that long but it sounds like you're playing you've played sometimes at sometimes you've played a lot at other times maybe not so much for the past right. 25 years Yes, I think that's usual in life. Sometimes you do something a lot, mm -hmm. and then sometimes you do things just occasionally. So sometimes, and today I'm holding my guitar, but I only play this guitar occasionally, sometimes. Yeah, well, I, I still want to hear you play it. Um, so maybe maybe later or maybe... <laughs> maybe another time maybe yeah. another time <laughs> so yeah thank you that's a very good uh very good uh guessing game very good uh three items for me to to guess and think and then try to guess what they are so that was that was very interesting christian you did very well so a round of applause <laughs> oh thank you <laughs> Yeah, so thank you everyone for watching and um, everyone, please remember to check out Adrian's channel. So just like I have a channel to help people learn English, Adrian, you have a channel to help people learn English. So please go to Adrian's channel and if you like it, uh, click the like button to like it and also click the subscribe button to subscribe to Adrian's channel. So Christian. thank you, Adrian. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me on your channel. Yeah, you're welcome. Anytime, Adrian.